Bet you didn't know this, in North Carolina stores are not required to give you a refund for a return, but they do have to tell you about their return policy. Yeah, you probably don't want to use spend your money at a store that won't offer you a refund. The same can be said when you're looking to go on an expensive vacation. A triad parent thought her money was safe when she signed her child up for a school trip. Do Wants to Know's Kevin Kennedy found out that was really far from the case. Where would you like to go? EF Tours offers educational tours to dozens of faraway places. These trips often organized through schools. I picked her up from school one day and she I jumped in the car and she said, guess what? One of the teachers at Swan Middle School in Greensboro was planning a trip to Europe. And I reached out to the teacher and asked him to email me some information and he sent me a PowerPoint. The presentation sent last April. The trip a bit more than a week long, students and parents would visit London, Paris and Madrid. Angela's daughter already counting the day. Super excited. I mean, she was already wanting to go shopping, you know, to buy clothes. The trip not scheduled till this spring, but signups were early last year. The teacher directing parents to this website. They reached out to everyone, I guess, who had expressed interest and sent a link to go ahead and open up an account and to sign up and start making payments. Angela paying about 1500 in the first five months. Then in October of last year, she received a call from the teacher. He said, um, I'm sorry to inform you that uh, due to lack of interest, we're um, not able to proceed with the, the uh, trip. Turns out Angela and her daughter were the only ones to sign up. Angela a bit frustrated with the school reaching out to the tour company. She did indicate she would be giving me a, a refund, you know, would be coming. The company agreed to waive the cancellation fee, but would not refund all the money. I said, well, I don't understand. I, I didn't cancel. I was making payments. I didn't cancel. Angela later sent an apology email of sorts by the teacher, but it didn't change the fact she was out $520. I thought other parents were making payments at the same time. Very upset. I mean, $500. I mean, that's a, a lot of money. She reached back out to the school again with no luck. Not sure what her next step would be. Should I reach out to a lawyer? Should I reach out to... The Better Business Bureau? Well, the good news for Angela is she works here at News 2. We were able to put her in contact with our Call for Action volunteers. They contacted the school and the district, the principal calling Angela. A couple of days later, he called me up and he said, we have a check ready for you. The school refunding the remaining money. This is the check for $520. I was just ecstatic. <laughs> I mean, this is like a Christmas present. As for that once-in-a-lifetime European trip with her daughter, Angela says it may happen at some point. Now we did reach out to the district to find out how something like this could happen. The district kind enough to send us this statement. This was not a school sponsored trip, nor were district guidelines followed. The teacher made a mistake and has rectified the situation. All trips are supposed to be run through the district. This trip was not. It was run through the school and that's what caused the problem.